The Snapdragon 888 Air and the Snapdragon 870 both are fairly new and you might be wondering which one should you get. Well, worry not, we are going to find out exactly that in this video. We are going to find out which might be a better pick for you according to your needs and should you spend the extra money on the 888. So stay tuned till the end of the video to find out which might be a better pick for you. If you're new to this channel, a sub would be amazing for this channel as I keep bringing this quality stuff comparison between devices and processors and everything related to tech. So I would be dividing it into benchmarks, modem, IESP, CPU, GPU and AI. And in conclusion we will talk about which processor is good for you. So starting from the benchmark and Geekbench. This single core score is 1026 of the 870 with a multi core score of 3503. This is an easy round for the Geekbench score as the 888 wins it. Even in N22 scores, there is a huge difference, but it isn't too huge to make a difference in real world usage. However, the 708 968 is a big, big score in terms of benchmarks. And there you have it, in benchmarks 888 is the winner. Coming to the modem, the modem is basically the same so you can't choose the device based on the modem. Only thing difference is that the name of the modem is changed in both devices. However, they both have similar things and everything from downloading to upload speed is same. So modem is tied, no one wins the modem. Coming to the ISP, ISP is exactly the same except for the name which is why I wrote it like this and the ISP is once again Thai like a modem. So as you guys see in the comparison there is much not going for 888. Coming to the CPU you can see there is a big difference in clock speeds of the 888 and 870 but it does not mean that the 870 is a better option because the 888 has a better architecture used which is the 5 nanometer which means that it would be much more efficient and can go up to higher speeds without warming up. So the 888 wins in terms of CPU. And now let's talk about the GPU. The GPU has the biggest difference of all in these processors. It has a lot of difference in clock speed and the 888 is a clear winner when it comes to GPU but 870 is also very very good and it is a lot better than the last year's 865 so even though 888 is a winner, 870 is not a bad option at all by any means. So GPU winner is 888 and now let's move on to the memory. The memory also has a big spike for 888 and the 888 is a better option when it comes to the memory but bear in mind that no one is actually going to exploit and use 24 gigs of RAM in a smartphone. So memory winner is also 888 but it does not matter a lot as nobody is going to use so big and huge chunks of memory in a smartphone and coming to the conclusion although there are a lot of differences between 870 and 888 in my opinion they are not big enough that you should be buying snapdragon 888 by spending extra money and choosing it over 870 so that was it for the video hope you guys liked it make sure to subscribe for more videos like this peace